Confirmation of the matches so far, Bustamante off to a winning start but only just. The ever popular Tony Drago was also in action on day one. The world's fastest pool player found the going tough against Liu Cheng Chuan of Chinese Taipei. The Malteser is trailing 7-5 at the start of Rack 12. So Liu up from the table. And he has a very real possibility of being able to finish up what he starts. If he is able to get a great break here and uh, play through. One ball goes down. Liu Cheng Chuan, a qualifier from the qualifying event last week. So he has really gone through a lot just to take his space here, take his place here among the other 127 players. And he is not going to go home without a fight. That's a good break. You know, we haven't seen a dry break yet in this, in this match. No, we haven't. I mean, players are talking about how small the pockets are playing and how slow the table is. But, uh, you know, you wouldn't know it from the breaks that we're having. The guys really nailing these breaks. I think when you have conditions like this, and once again, the referee is calling the attention to somebody in the crowd doing but, something inappropriate. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's definitely what Tony Drago has been upset about. And, you know, whether we can say that these interruptions uh, in his concentration are due to that or just the fact that he's having an off game, I mean, he's no by no stretch of the imagination, out of it as we look at another miss, this time by Liu, so unforced error number five by him. So, <laughs> you know, it's not affecting just one player. I mean, these unforced errors, perhaps uh, because of the pressure of the situation, remember we are in the biggest tournament of the year, nine ball-wise, for any of these players. And a lot of them have come from all points around the world to be here, so obviously the pressure to play well not only for the fans but for their peers as well and as we watch that last shot by Tony you know that, that to the untrained eye that looks like a, just a lash at the ball there by Tony but he did very well to get the white where he wanted it to be so Liu opportunity here if that ball will pass and uh, he's gonna have to get it on the kick oh look at this man oh man does he lock that, that up or is what a fine shot there Very well controlled kick safety. Oh. Has he left it for Liu? I well, think he it, has. He has. I mean, Tony walked right up to the table and unleashed. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you, so you, it's hard to tell. I mean, almost sometimes when he does that, you get the feeling, well, you know, he's, he's really playing this game nonchalantly. But yeah. there, is, there is a method to his madness here. But Liu, on that opening, crams the one in the top right-hand corner and has a great looking shot at the rest of the table. I mean, the rest of the table is his. Yeah, that was a, a very nice shot there, struck with a lot of conviction and authority. And after his last two misses, he really needed that confidence boost. And now, six balls away from getting halfway to his goal of making it to the last 64. Well, you can see it in his eyes. I mean, he's looking at that table. He sees what we see. <laughs> and really, the degree of difficulty is... Uh, well, I mean, I'm not saying I could do very good with it, but let's, guys at this level should be able to put it away. So, a shot at the five. And see how he plays this, where he will run this cue ball. The six is up at the top of the table. You can see line not quite hard against the rail. But this is the most important shot of the rack for sure. Oh, look at this. Wow. Look at that. That is pretty. I thought he was going to take that five into the side pocket and just dribble it forward. That's what but, I thought. That's but, what I thought. Uh, I think he had to hit it a bit too hard and would not get shape on the six, so he ended up doing that instead. And that is a fine stroke there. Well, remember, Liu's game, from what we've seen, I have not seen a whole lot of Liu when he's been playing but in his career, but uh, a lot of his game is predicated by pace. He likes to, to play the game with pace, and uh, you know that's just another way to do it. But just a beautiful lead on the six. And he crams that ball down. Look at the side spin off of that. Did he get there, though? I don't think he got there. I don't think he got shape. What a waste of two beautiful shots. 
Well, he's checking it out. It, 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 I think it just might slip in, but it's close. Man, oh man. He was so unfortunate there. He made a five rail positional shot off the five and then landed two straight on the six. We how, are really, how unlucky can you get? We are really seeing a game of contrasting styles. What a treat for you, the audience. Tony Drago, Liu Chang Chuan. I mean, these guys are polar opposites in their approach to the game. The ex-snooker player going against a hard and fast pool player, and what a shot. He wants you to be away from that rail. He's done what he had to do. Yeah, that was a fine shot there, Chuck. Just snicked it in. He's just got a little bit more work to do, though, before he can put this rack to bed. Well, we have seen players miss shots a lot. Easier than this. And again, you know, I'm not going to claim any uh, preponderance to ESP, Bob, but I can sort of feel that coming. Time and time again, these pockets are playing so hard. This is the first thing that the players were buzzing about today when we came into this convention center, that players are really going to have to go that extra mile and concentrate on their shots. You let it go a little bit. And he has opened the door for Drago to step right through, and that's exactly what he does. As he crawls to within 5-7, and he will have control of the table. So the plot thickens here in Manila in this Group 24 match between Tony Drago of Malta and Liu Chinchuan of Chinese Taipei. Seemingly, Chuan with control of this match. There is the unforced error that we saw by Liu. So he comes through with another one a little, a little bit later on. There's the error by Drago. Just ripping those shots. And a, probably the shot of the rack right there on the seven. Looked easy. And he fluffs it. Drago up to the challenge. Rams at home and climbs to the within two. So hold the celebration if you were you if you're drago one more kick at the can and he's up at the table right now for rack number 13. is he gonna have a shot on the one looks like he he will oh pink ball pink yeah. ball oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. sorry drago having it up with the crowd isn't it great you know to have a character like tony drago and you're, you're not playing well and yet you can still have some fun and you know well, Enjoy we talk, the moment. Yeah, we talk about opportunities won and lost in the game about. within the game. And yeah, and uh, example of it right now, push out, he will play. And uh-oh. Let's see if Liu has the opening. We saw him make a very fine shot on the seven, almost that same sort of a cut angle the game before that, albeit at a different pocket. But the cut on the ball seems to require about the same amount of skill. So let's see how he decides to to play it. And really, that you know, it, it's in the area of the push-outs that the pool players have an advantage, but actually that's not a very good safety there by Liu. He left too much of the one showing, and Drago. Yeah, nice shot by Tony. Well, Liu, I, I think, can get a piece of this, though. Can he? No, I don't know. The five is. I think the five is. Five could be in the way. Let's see. Nope. It passes. Maybe he'll spin this in. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes. Magnificent shot by Liu. And you're right, Bob. The, he did leave the door open just enough. So, Liu. Directing the two in the top left-hand corner. I think Liu would have preferred to be much straighter on this red three. He should have followed the ball just a bit. Now he has to go around. If he was straighter, if he was near that string there, that head string, he could just play this as a stop shot. And then have the automatic shape on the four. That's why he's taken the bank on. Yeah. And that's why he's given up the table again. Well, players, oh boy. you know, well, we got about eight unforced errors for... Nine. My goodness, I was going to say eight unforced errors for Drago, only five for Liu, but irrelevant. Wow, did you see that coming, Bob? I saw it. 
and Tony Drago is right back into this. We, he was, we were giving him up for dead, but the tornado is cutting a swath through this TV table here. Now watch the three. It doesn't go down, but it doesn't matter because a nine goes down, and Tony Drago alive and kicking, folks, as he trails only 7-6 against you from Chinese Taipei. It was 7-4 just a moment ago. We are having more and more unforced errors in that particular rack. Another one by Drago, but a whopping two for you. And uh, the unforced error is getting even. I'm, I'm counting like 13 unforced errors, Bob, thus far <laughs> in this match. That's so right. we're getting an average of like one per rack. Yeah, Liu Chen Chuan, really just a mental error there, not thinking three balls ahead. He, if he had just played that, uh, that two ball as like a, a slight follow or a, or a stun run through. He'd be straight on the three, play a, play a stop shot straight on the four. He would have run out. Instead, he gave himself angle, had to play a bank, and made a mess of it. And would you believe it? What a time for our first dry break. Well, I thought perhaps he might get some mercy with that four. That four has been a magnet to these pockets the last four or five breaks, but not this time. So he will sit down and cool his heels and Drago at the table again. That, you know, solid contact, no doubt about it, with the balls. But look, he loses control of the cue ball. And he has left a pretty nice looking table for Tony, who cannot, cannot capture the flag. You know, the side pockets of these tables are murderous, it well, seems. We've seen so many balls just clanging away from those jaws. Yeah, I understand, but he missed that by a lot, Bob. I mean, he, he missed that by, you know, a good two, three inches. Now. Now, really, this could be the end of it here. Although, of course, look at the five, six over there near. Uh, wow. Near the left hand, near the southwest corner. Southwest over there near Baja corner, California. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Near San Diego. You've yeah. got that six I, over there. I, I've been watching too much TV weather. That's what it is, those <laughs> weathermen. You know. Okay, so we got the two looks good. And you can see what's going through his mind. He is looking three or four shots down the road. He does not want to make the same mistake he made in that last rack, thinking too short term. So He's going for the 3-8, three the 3-9. Three yeah, and he has positioned himself just perfectly. Great so call. He wants to end it right now. Has seen enough of Tony Drago. This is no gimme. It's slightly off angle. I think you'll get it. Well, you've got it. You've got to go for it. I mean, you've you've done everything in your power to line it up that way. So, you've got to follow through with your plans. This would be a disaster if he misses it, but he does not. He makes the combination, the three nine, and in the process takes down Tony Drago by a score of eight six.